With the Heat failing to make any big moves this offseason, Tyler Hero is probably going to both remain on the roster while also being a vital piece for this Miami team. So in this video, I want to do a deep dive on Hero's film to see what already makes him a pretty consistent scorer at just 23 years old. But I also want to go over Tyler's current weaknesses and things he can improve on going into this season. So with Hero, the first place where we have to start is his outside shooting and more specifically his three point shooting off the dribble. Because this part of Tyler's game lays the foundation for everything else. Hero is extremely comfortable pulling up from three going both right and left. And he also has no problem doing it from range. Allowing him to butcher breakdowns or soft coverages in pick and roll. On this play you'll see Jimmy Butler come up to set the screen and notice how Derek White sags back while Brogdon is also laid to aggressively show or switch, which allows Hero to settle his feet into a 30 foot bomb. Now Tyler's handle also plays a big factor in his perimeter scoring. You'll notice how off the dribble Hero likes to glide with his feet, while letting the ball flow at his pocket, and this both gives him time to read his man, while also establishing a rhythm into his shot. Like on this play, the Knicks are going to switch the screen and notice how Tyler again skips his feet up while bringing the ball to his pocket and he flows right into a crossover. Then again he skips with his feet and brings the ball up and from this spot he can easily gather and flow into a left right pull up. Now Tyler's ability to control and let the ball hang gives him multiple options on how he wants to use his footwork into his shot. You'll see him on this play give a light in and out, then glide up with the ball. And from here Tyler is going to use his eyes to sell as if he's going to come off the screen to his left. And this gets Reggie Jackson to open up and expose his top foot. So Hero's now going to get to a crossover towards his right and he immediately step into a left right shot. But now watch this play. You'll see Tyler get to a similar move again gliding out, then hitting a left to right crossover. But instead of stepping immediately into a left right pull up, he's now going to skip off his right foot and glide out lateral to create more space into his shot. And in case you're wondering, this move is not a travel. Because after the crossover, Tyler keeps the ball up at his pocket. And he technically doesn't gather until he skips off that right foot, which would count as his gather step. And in return, would legally allow him to use two more steps into his shot. So Tyler's ability to both set up and most importantly knock down threes off the dribble, pretty much opens up the rest of Hero's offensive game. Now because the defense has to respect Hero as an outside scoring threat, teams normally pick him up well beyond the three, and this opens the door for Hero to both create offense in the mid-range and at the rim. Shooting. If he does not want to be there, oh, Hero with a slam! So with Tyler scoring from below the three, the first thing I want to go over is Hero's pace and navigation with the ball. Now I wouldn't say Tyler has crazy Kemba or Kyrie like handles, but he is elite at playing patient with the ball and finding the open spots on the floor. On this play you'll see the Bulls throw a hard hedge at Hero and in response watch how Tyler is going to push the ball to his right hand and take a quick retreat dribble. But as soon as Vucevic leaves to recover back to his man, watch how Hero makes a quick push cross back to his left to re-attack into that open space. Then he veers back across the paint to elevate for a two foot floater. Now if the defense decides to leave their bigs and drop, Hero has a variety of different runners and pull ups that he can get to. Watch him here work off the screen and lift into a one foot floater from behind the free throw line. Another thing that Tyler is really good at is using his body to seal off his man who's trying to fight over the screen, which allows him to keep his space from the big man who's sitting back and drop and gives him a window to lift up into his runner. On this play you'll see the heat set a ghost screen for Hero and notice how Tyler is able to get the outside angle on McDaniels. But watch how Hero cuts his angle back in towards the middle which puts Jaden in jail. Then Hero is going to toss the ball out in front of him while keeping his body in front of the defense. And from here he immediately leaps forward to snatch the ball and lift up for a two foot floater. Now over the past few years Hero has massively improved his strength and stability. Tyler is now comfortable being able to both absorb contact and keep his balance into his shot. One thing Tyler likes to do to create separation is give these tiny bumps with his inside shoulder, which may not seem like much, 
but these little things can actually make a big difference. On this play, notice how Hero puts his shoulder into Trey Young's chest, which bounces Young back and gives Hero a ton of space off this step back. Now because Tyler is comfortable playing physical with the ball, he can now target mismatches in the mid post and easily set up high quality looks for himself. You'll see him here going at Jose Alvarado, who's a really good backcourt defender, but watch how Tyler easily works him into the paint and gives him a small bump to separate for a pull up. Now another really important element to Tyler's mid range scoring is his lower body strength. Hero is elite at aggressively attacking downhill, then stopping on a diamond elevating up for a smooth jumper. And that sturdiness that Tyler has into his pull ups all comes from his legs. So when you see plays like this, Hero's move and setup into his shot may seem pretty simple and basic, but the lower body strength it takes to effectively pull these moves off is actually really tough. Watch Hero here get to a right to left crossover, then skip his feet up to build momentum. Then he's going to transfer all his weight to his left foot, and he gets to another crossover. And he brings that left foot around to now rise up for a picture perfect pull up. You'll see Hero on this play going up against a mismatch, and watch where he gets to a simple left hand hezzy blow by, and he gets the defense to completely rotate his hips. Then in an instant, Tyler steps right left and pops up for a jumper while the defense is still stumbling forward. Now Tyler's improved strength and stability also helps him with his finishing around the basket. Again, being able to absorb contact and find angles to score. When Hero is gathering into a finish, he's really good at bringing the ball up to his chin, which allows him to protect the ball and draw fouls. You'll see him here attack a closeout right off the catch. And when Tyler gets in traffic, watch him bring the ball up, which causes the defense to play vertical to avoid fouling, which allows Hero to find a window to finish. Now similar to the way Tyler uses the defense's momentum to create separation in the mid range, Hero was also great at controlling his body in the paint and finding angles to finish. This play here is super tough. Watch how Drew Holiday comes up to pressure Hero. So in response, Tyler is going to glide out to his left to create an attacking angle. And when Hero is getting downhill, notice how Holiday's hips are squared up with the baseline. So in response, Tyler is going to stop his downhill momentum by planting his left foot to then Euro across the paint and create a finishing angle back to the middle. Now when Tyler is driving, he also likes to use his off arm. And this helps him both create and keep his attacking angle. Hero driving on Hardy and scoring with a left hand. You'll see him here matched up against a much bigger Pascal Siaka. And watch how Tyler again glides out lateral to create that driving angle. But as soon as Tyler starts to attack, notice how he swipes with his inside hand to keep Pascal on his hip and then to ultimately get completely in front of him so he can then use his body to protect the ball into his layup. So let's move on and look at Hero's off ball scoring. And I think this part of Tyler's game is what really makes him both a complete and versatile offensive player. Because Hero doesn't need to dominate the ball in order to put up points. And then angles out for a Hero 3. Kaboom! Now obviously, Hero's a really good spot up shooter. Making 39% on all his shots off the catch. As well as a scorching 48% on all his wide open jumpers. But on top of that shot making, Tyler also has a really good feel of spacing on the court, being able to cut and move to open spots to then set up quality looks for himself. On this play, you'll see Jimmy Butler make an entry pass to the post, then cut through. And from here, watch how Tyler aggressively fills into this open space and organizes his feet for a rhythm jumper. Now, another thing that I love about Tyler's game is his ability to make quick decisions. In the flow of Miami's offense last year, Hero calmly played out of these quick handoffs, and Tyler was really good at keeping the game simple and just taking what the defense gives him. Like on this play, Hero is going to come off this pin down, then receive a handoff from Bam, but Derek White tries to cheat under and meet Tyler on the other side, so Ada Bile is just going to flip into a screen, and Hero comes off for an easy one dribble pull up. So overall, I think Tyler Hero checks all the boxes as a score. His ability to be productive both on and off the ball makes him an easy fit for pretty much any NBA offense. But when we look at Tyler's game on the other side of the ball, that's where his issues really begin to show. Now to be fair, I do think over the past few years, Hero has made some improvements to his defense. 
first by simply just putting in more effort, doing things like fighting through screens, and getting himself in position to give a great contest, or rotating down to stop the ball in the paint, to then recover back out and alter the shot. In Hero's first three NBA seasons, he would have never made a play like this, where he stunts down to stop the drive, but then also anticipates the kickout pass. However, even though Tyler is making steady improvements, there are still some warts on Hero's overall defensive game. Now the first issue Hero has is his focus off the ball. There's many times where Tyler falls asleep and loses track of his man. And sometimes it's just for a split second. But against NBA offenses, those small lapses can quickly lead to open shots for the other team. But for Hero, the bigger issue is going to be his lack of strength. Now I do think Hero has improved his body control offensively, but from what I saw last year, that did not carry over to Tyler's defense. And the catch gets it back and thumps it down. Hero on the perimeter is not able to consistently slide and body up his man. On this play, you'll see the ball get driven and kicked back out. And from here, notice how Tyler's in relatively good position. But John Collins is able to lower his shoulder and completely move Hero off his driving line. Now similar issues also come up with Tyler off the ball. Again, most of the time he puts himself in good position, but he's hesitant to completely put his body in the play. Watch LeBron here turn the corner off the screen, and from this spot Tyler should slide up to meet James, to either take a charge or at least offer up some resistance, but Hero just allows LeBron to scoop by for a layup. So overall, I think Tyler Hero is a really effective and versatile offensive weapon. I think his ability to be effective both on and off the ball makes him a really flexible player. But I still think there are some real issues with Hero's defense. And those issues may continue to hurt Tyler's value in the postseason. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments who the kids should break down next. The kids here.